to my channel. Today's shoot, we are at London Pergola Hill and Gardens in Hampstead Heath. I love this location. It's a really beautiful hidden gem that lots of people know about, but it's perfect for engagement shoots, couple shoots. And the weather today is rainy. No one here, which is amazing. And I think it's really actually good to show you because realistically, people do say to me, well, what actually happens if it rains on a shoot? Do you still go ahead? And I'll be honest, most of the time it rains, I still go ahead with a shoot because most of the time couples have booked out that day, they've paid, they've traveled. If it's torrential rain, then we tend to stop. But right now I would call this medium rain, so <laughs> if there's such a thing. So it is totally doable to shoot this. And I'm gonna show you the results. So it is an overcast day. So I am gonna set my white balance to cloudy and that will hopefully kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. Uh, I've got the lovely couple, Molly and Alistair, real life couple who've been together about five slash six years. Uh, <laughs> and I'm gonna bring you behind the scenes. So with today, you don't need to be nervous at all. Um, I'll be telling you what to do the entire time. <laughs> People are like, oh my God, I'm not a model. You don't need to be. And most of the time you're not even gonna look at me. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be just looking at each other and just always be holding hands. So okay. always be holding hands all the time <laughs> <laughs> looking at each other being in your own little bubble of love so just enjoy it it's gonna be fun we'll start off a warm-up um we'll do some walking have you ever had a photo shoot before not really no. <laughs> brilliant i love this this is great this is actually I'm good <laughs> so have you got a favorite side of your face, oh, my face not really. brilliant Either Great. So if you guys start here, yeah. and what you're going to do is just walk towards me okay. and just walk and talk and go. Love that. Look at each other. Gorgeous. Love that. That's great. You guys are doing great. You're nailing the walking, guys. Good walking. <laughs> so if you guys are in the middle of here and just turn your bodies towards each other and just hold each other and look at each other. That's lovely. Aperture of 1.4, ISO 250 and 1000 shutter speed and they're really, really natural. So I'm going wide, I'm gonna go closer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna circle them because this kind of scenario, you've got like a 360 of kind of surroundings. I can shoot from all kinds of angles. So I can already tell that Molly and Alistair are naturally a very natural, affectionate couple. Yes! So they don't need tons of direction. They're very, very, I'm loving it. And then while you're there, Molly, just swim your body this way and have your back to Alistair. And then wrap your arms on top of Molly. Yeah, on top. That's lovely. I'm going to get your head super close together. But you come to Molly, so she's not like, tur <laughs> like she's not like turkey. So <laughs> that's it. That's beautiful. And then if you whisper in her ear something naughty. <laughs> I love the framing of this spot here. So I put it this is a window. And what I'm gonna get you to do is you go in the middle of this here yeah. and just wrap your arms around each other. So sometimes with directions, I will just say a direction and I will let them interpret it however they like because I never like to physically touch people. I want them to get into whatever position feels comfortable for them. So what they're doing now is perfect and they've done that themselves. I haven't told them to do that, that's all them. And I love that and I can actually see the reflection in the little puddle, which was really lovely. And then Molly, using your hand, I want you to caress Alistair's jawline. That's perfect. <laughs> and then go in for a super slow, slow kiss. So what I'm doing is just adjusting them ever so slightly, and then giving them directions each time so they're not constantly moving around, they're just in one spot and they're just cut, cuddling. So wind is coming this way. So yeah, if you look up at each other and have your hands on Alistair's chest and get even closer, we're gonna wait for the wind to pick up. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. Yes. Amazing. Let's move to the next location. So for me, with locations, I don't wanna keep them stuck in one place forever because when you are shooting a location, <laughs> I'm all drippy, but when? <laughs> is I try and move them to lots of locations so you have lots of variety. Because if you were to stay in one spot and just keep if you have a location, use your location and keep them moving, keep it light, keep it fun. So you've constantly got lots of options to work with because if you were to take, I don't know, 60 pictures in the same spot, you're only realistically gonna actually achieve what, two, three from that. So for me, I like to have lots of options. So they come to their gallery, they have lots of different parts of the story. I love that. So what I'm doing is photographing just walking. 
And then Molly, if you look at each other, yeah, that's lovely. Molly, look at me, that's perfect. So I'm shooting ISO 250, aperture 2.0, shutter speed 640. Love that. So I'm gonna shoot and get some of that building and get them just walking. It's all part of the story because that is what you are doing the whole time with shooting this, is that you are telling a story. So when posing couples, I always try and get them to get even closer, keep them moving, because the rule of kind of movement is motion creates emotion, because did you see the difference how when they were static, they were just, hmm, compared to when they were snuggled in, they start giggling and smiling. So always trying to get them moving is what I'd say. And that kind of, kind of combats any tension, if it's awkward, if they feel nervous, I feel like keeping them moving is very, very natural. So I'm staying on my 35, I'm gonna go ISO 1.8, shutter speed 320, ISO 800. Okay, if you guys come down the stairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Molly up against the wall like this, and Alice is gonna come in and stand. You're gonna chat. So what I love is they're naturally laughing. And I'll be completely honest, I do put my couples in awkward scenarios just for lols because that's how you generate natural laughter. <laughs> and then caress her jawline and then bring her in slowly for a kiss. Perfect, love that. Gorgeous. So this time, what I'm gonna do, Alice, if you bring this right arm back to where it was before. Yeah, um, that way. And then you're gonna snuggle in into that arm, perfect. So what I did, I just slightly changed their kind of arms. So now it just looks even cosier, even more into that's lovely. So what I try and do on a couple shoots is I do try and mix it between two lenses. 35 is my favorite lens, without a doubt. I probably use that for a good 80% of a couple shoot, but I think it is nice to bring out the 85 just so you have a bit more depth, different kind of looks, and just a different, type of perspective. Shooting at ISO 320, aperture 1.4, shutter speed 400. So I'm constantly changing angles, constantly looking at different options. And with the 85, I'm just getting a really different type of depth. And I'm having them, I'm thinking about the kind of rule of thirds. So I'm having them in the bottom left there and then shooting them in the center. <laughs> right, so what I'll get you out to do is just be super cute for 15 seconds. Just keep moving, keep nuzzling, keep kissing. So if you just say 15 seconds, and then I'm just gonna record it. And action, be cute, be cute, be cute. So cute, loves it, cute. So I'm always trying to think about behind the scenes, sharing a story, even if it's just one or two stories, it's a really good habit to get into, just to give your kind of followers context, to show behind the scenes, show how you work. And Molly said to me earlier, she's watched my stories, so you kind of, you kind of know what to expect, don't you? <laughs> and you trust me a bit, don't you? Cause you're like, I know what she's, I know what she's about. <laughs> okay, the rain is definitely picking up. Oh, okay, perfect. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the blossom in front of them. That's so pretty. And turn your bodies this way. <laughs> so yeah, turn your body this way to me. Perfect, that's yes, lovely. I cannot see what's on my mind. <sighs> see, this is the stuff they don't show you on Instagram, is this. This is what it's really like on shoots. Everyone's like, that's such a pretty picture. And I'm like, yeah, it was raining and I was holding a tree and my couple was soaking wet. Oh, that's so beautiful. So what is it you guys do? I'm gonna play some music. I'm gonna get you guys into the slow dance. So? Like this is your own. I mean, there's no one here. This is the part where we like, put musical injury on the copyright reasons. <laughs>
Cool. So you're going to swing her and spin. Go. Cute. And then what you're going to do, Alistair, is you're going to pick Molly up from her bum. So you put your hand like this, uh -huh. her wrist, the and wrist. then scoop her like here, yeah. and then lift her up that. <laughs> and then you're going to do your legs like this. <laughs> yeah. And then look at each other, go forehead to forehead. Nice legs, good work, Molly. Yes. <laughs> Spin. Stunning. We got it. Sweet. Yay! Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You Thank you. Oh, that is good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. At the time, you're probably thinking, like, what the heck? <laughs> what is she making us do? But Trust the process. Thank you so much. Yay, so that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed my rainy day shoot. I really enjoyed it. And I think it's so important to just embrace the elements, make it work, stay positive, and just keep it moving. Because if you start kind of saying to your client or your couple, oh, it's raining, that's just going to make them the shoot just take a different turn. But I think it's important to keep it light, keep the kind of enthusiasm up, and just make memories for them as well. So at the end, play some music, they had a little dance in here. So they had some really romantic shots as well when they're not in the rain. Um, so they have lots of options. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon.